Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can always follow me on DJ Fanatic, excuse me, on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Um, Fanatic is spelled P H A N A T I C. So uh, today's video is really quick, uh, just basically showing you something how to view the tracks at certain widths. And it's a quick way of doing it, assigning all your tracks. This is an FL Studio uh, 20. It's one of the updates. I uh, did want to show you a quick way. And let's say you had, like, you know, a bunch of audio all over the place, you know, that goes all the way down here. You know, let me just... This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, you know, and to do that, you know, I... Control A, select all, hold down shift, and you can just copy all that data. And let's just say, you know, all of that. And it goes down another 300 tracks or whatever. Okay? So let's say you have a lot of data. You have tons of different audio, MIDI data, and um, automation data all in the same project. Let's say you just got a lot going on. And you want to be able to view the tracks with all at once instead of doing this for each track let's say you want this you go to size 200 and it only makes track one that size let's say you want six size you want that smaller because you know it's maybe some audio you're not really maybe background ad libs or whatever and you make that smaller so that way you can focus more on that less on that and let's say you want this one uh, I don't know 150 just a little bit bigger whatever the default is 100 percent and a quick way of Making all of these the same and there's another way too that I'm going to show you um, this is you know I would say beginner, but you know Sometimes you get so advanced you kind of miss some of the uh, Principles and sometimes people that have been using it for a long time don't even know that this feature is here So hopefully this helps you too as well uh, but basically, you hit this little drop-down arrow, and then you go to View, and then you go, oops, you go to, where is it at? Resize all tracks. Now, obviously, what that does, it resizes all the tracks in one click. 200. So all of them are equal. Space 200. So I got them all wide. Um, vertical wise anyway uh, height the height is increased so let's say I want them all like that or you know let's say I want them back to let's say I want them really small you just go to the view this little drop down go to view go to resize all tracks and let's say I want them 33 percent that way I can focus you know on a macro level and kind of piece together where I want certain sounds certain automation etc uh, so it's a really quick way of doing it instead of, you know, going through each track while you produce or while you're putting together a song or whatever. So it's a really easy way of doing that. Uh, the other way, which is cool, let me set this back. Remember, drop down, view, resize all tracks. Let's put it to 100. So another way, which is pretty simple, but, you know, some take for granted uh, I think I did it on accident like the first time I got FL Studio years ago. Um, you can actually use, that's not it, you can actually use your scroll wheel um, on your mouse. So if you have a little scroll wheel right next to your uh, pointer finger or whatever, if you're right handed, well it doesn't matter, right or left handed, you can put the cursor, let me just undo that, you can put the cursor in this little ruler area where all the bars are you know um, and if you scroll it up it actually makes it wider you can make it pretty wide notice how the the um, the micro uh, panel view adjusts as well and as you scroll up or down up actually makes it wider really wide and then you can um, use the scroll wheel if you move the cursor up to this micro area you can use a scroll wheel to go left or right as well that way you can cover 
you know, wherever you want in the song and you're really zoomed in. Now, I rarely use it that wide um, unless I'm like really looking for something and you, you know, you have a very complex project. Um, the other thing you can do is put the cursor right over here where it says change clip size in the upper left in the hint panel when I hover over it. And when you scroll up or down, it increased the height of the tracks. And you actually, as you can tell, you can go beyond 200%. You just make it really wide, I mean really high, and really wide as well. So that way you can kind of focus in on your um, wavelengths, you know, especially if you have audio. And you can focus in on your MIDI data. Uh, this particular example is just MIDI data. And you can focus on um, um, automation data as well. So just really quick, really easy. Um, you can resize this window really fast. Uh, again, you know, the other way to do it was the drop down view, select um, resize all tracks, select whatever uh, that you prefer. And if you don't have a scroll wheel in your mouse, most, uh, I think it's mice, plural. <laughs> mice have um, a scroll wheel. It's a built in feature for FL Studio. And look, look how narrow I can get when I do it like that as well. So it's really powerful. You know, it helps you get through your project really fast. I've seen producers actually work like this. Uh, I don't put it that small. I kind of like looking at it, you know, so I can see where certain sounds are and I'll know um, exactly where everything is. But it's very powerful, uh, really easy to do. And if, you know, you've overlooked this, I hope it definitely helped you. Uh, if you didn't know about it, of course, I hope it helped you. Um, you know, it, this drop down, select all track, view, select all tracks. I mean, resize all tracks actually is an FL Studio 20 update. So I don't, I'm not sure if it's in the older um, versions. This um, should be in the older versions where you hover over and use your scroll wheel on your mouse. So there you have it, really quick video. Hopefully it helps you out with your projects. Um, you know, again, it's been DJ Fanatic. If you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. I'm a content contributor for Live Off Beats. And hopefully this helps out your projects and uh, you're able to get around easier on, uh, you know, during your productions. So keep making great music, make outstanding stuff. Be blessed. Peace, y'all.